Hey guys, Eric Sargent, General Manager at Ed Martin Toyota in Noblesville, Indiana, and today we're going to look at a brand new 2021 Heritage Edition Lane Cruiser, and we've done a lot of modifications to it. So let's take a look and walk around the vehicle. Uh, for starters, we have a, uh, a full uh, Expel full frontal um, paint protection film. So we have the hood, the fenders, um, as well as the mirror caps um, and the rocker panels, all wrapped in Expel Ultimate Plus paint protection film from here and down. For the suspension, we are using the OME BP51 kit. We have um, the SPC upper control arms. Um, this, the front end is set to two inches. Um, in the rear, we are using the 2723 heavy, heavy springs because we have a Trek box system with our fridge back there. For the tires, we're using um, Nito Terra Grappler G2, uh, 285-65-18 E-load on the Heritage Edition OEM wheels with the black lug nuts. Sliders, we have the Slee LX570 rock sliders with uh, a rock with rock lights. So when the door is open, the lights turn on. When you shut the door, they'll shut off after 30 seconds or when you lock it, they'll shut down. Back here, we have the Slee LC200 uh, rear bumper with a dual swing arm. We have the ladder and of course the spare tire carrier. One-handed operation opening and shutting. T-nuts, T-lockers there. We also have the, um, the, the struts uh, do have a locking mechanism built into it so they can't uh, be blown open with wind or a uh, slight uh, incline right there. Um, we have the Max Trax accessory added to it with the Slee Max Trax um, uh, attachment bracket accessory, which we powder coated in black, black Max Trax. Um, we have, the, of course, the ladder is the, is the default left swing arm. Included in the bumper kit is the 3D printed um, uh, rear uh, backup sensors uh, grommet as well as the uh, rear cross traffic monitor sensors over here on the side. Uh, we also have um, the uh, rigid um, backup lights integrated to the bumper and that's directly from SLEE at the factory. We have disabled the power hatchback on this particular one because we don't want to accidentally open up this with the key fob and have it bump into the actual uh, rear bumper uh, swing arms themselves, so we have that disabled in the front. We have a truck box uh, alpha system here. We have the single drawer. We also have another uh, Zulu accessory box on order that will be a second, a second, a second drawer here. A couple ARB accessories, winch controller, uh, Max Trax uh, rope, a couple extra spare parts. Um, we have a 1,000 watt Samlax inverter uh, underneath of the swing arm um, right here. We also have um, a uh, household power outlet with two extra USB ports right underneath of it. Um, we have the truck box system does uh, come with two keys and it's lockable for both drawers here. Okay, what makes this electrical setup kind of cool is we have um, two switch pros in this vehicle. One's in the front, one's in the rear. The one, um, the, they are daisy changed, so they talk to each other. There's a couple switches that are three-way. Um, right now we have the dome switch, which is going to turn on the drawer lights in amber or red. Um, you can shut it off here and turn it and change it to white. Again, we're controlling that from the actual switch pro uh, that's mounted right here to the left of the truck box. Um, we also have uh, left and right scene lights which you may be able to see right here. And then we also have them on the right as well. We also have the, uh, reverse, uh, the reverse lights. And I'll kind of put this down right here. So we have these, uh, these are rigid uh, one by two uh, white scene lights that we have mounted um, underneath of the spoiler. These are uh, triggered into the reverse signal. So when the car is in reverse, these lights will automatically kick on. But if you're camping and you want to have extra light back here, then you can uh, override that so that it's on with this switch right here. And then we also have another uh, rock light override as well right here. So if you were wanting to just, if say you're camping and you wanted to have a little extra light, um, you can just turn on the rock lights on the car and have illumination. Okay, now that we're on the inside of the vehicle, we have our second Switch Pro, which is located in the sunglasses holder, mounted to a piece of ABS that we've, that we've custom fit so that it fits inside the sunglasses holder. Um, right now it's glowing in blue. You can change that um, in the settings in the Bluetooth app for the Switch Pro. Um, we have all eight switches um, reserved right now, and we have a couple other ones that we use factory blanks for. So let's kind of go through these one by one. Um, the roof light, uh, or the roof, uh, the light bar on the roof, we have two. It's a Baja uh, Onyx uh, light bar, which is going to have 
two colors. It's going to have amber and white. Um, so we have uh, one here, which is our amber lights. You may be able to see the reflection off the glass in front of us a little bit in the video. Turn that off. The bottom one is white. And then we have our, of course, our air compressor, which is an ARB twin air compressor. Um, we also have uh, bumper lights, which are Baja LP6s. There's two on the front bumper, on the ARB front bumper, which we'll show you here in a moment. Uh, we also have the rock lights, which this would be a three-way switch because that one's also controlled from the Switch Pro that's in the rear. Um, and then this would be used for if you wanted to have your rock lights on you know, while you're driving, so maybe on a trail at dusk or dawn. And then we also have our left and our right scene lights. And then right here where it says aux with a picture of a battery, that's going to be our Red Arc SBI uh, 12, which is our 200 uh, uh, um, SBI that's going to let us jumpstart the crank battery with the primary battery. And we'll show you that here in just a moment as well. So those are our lights. Um, while we're talking about switches, let's kind of mention a couple other ones here. Um, on the uh, right side of the steering column, uh, Toyota gives you one extra blank. So what we've done here is we've added a rear locker enable button. And then on the left side of the steering column, we have our two factory blanks right here. One is for your rear locker. Um, again, the enable switch is on the, on the right side. So in order for this button to actually work, you do have to um, trigger the enable button on the opposite side. And the reason for this is just so that you don't accidentally um, enable your rear locker inadvertently. So both buttons would have to be pressed. And then over here we have the, uh, the long range fuel tank, um, uh, fuel gauge. And the long range fuel tank um, is the uh, Long Range America 12, uh, 24 gallon. Um, we do have that mounted um, underneath of the, uh, where the normal uh, Toyota spare tire carrier is. And we also have that unit covered in Line X. The front bumper that we're using is the ARB Summit front bumper, steel. Um, obviously it has the bull bars because it's a Summit bumper. Um, integrated to the winch, we, uh, we're using a Warren Xeon 12S Platinum uh, winch, which is a wireless remote control, dual clutch, synthetic rope, water submersible winch. We also have um, a Factor uh, 55 1.5 inch fair lead and a Factor 5 uh, ultra hook in red. Um, we also have mounted to it, as mentioned uh, in the light overview on the Switch Pro, um, the Baja Designs LP6 uh, dual colors uh, for drive lights, uh, white drive lights, and then amber that are integrated to the fog lights. So the fog lights, the amber fogs are going to be, uh, are linked um, with the OEM switch to the stock fog lights. Let's take a look under the hood. All right, what we have going on here is a dual battery setup. This is our advanced setup. So what we've done is we've relocated our, um, our auxiliary battery um, with a uh, full throttle, uh, full river uh, Group 31 AGM as our auxiliary battery. We relocated the crank battery um, to the auxiliary location using the sleeve battery tray. Um, so this is our crank battery. Um, this is a Group 35, again, a full river, a full, river full throttle um, AGM battery for both. We have our Red Arc um, uh, BCDC 1240D uh, mounted to the side of it with a custom bracket that we've created. We are using the SLEE uh, auxiliary battery tray uh, for, for this uh, crank battery in the auxiliary battery location. Um, we have a couple of different uh, fuses here. We have our BCDC uh, and we also have the SBI 200 amp, which is the SBI 12 uh, Red Arc. And this is uh, so that we can jumpstart this crank battery from our auxiliary battery. Um, over here, um, on our auxiliary, all accessories are wired to the auxiliary. We have um, an extra here as well as the two for the 40 amp, um, the uh, um, ARB twin air compressor, um, which we can kind of talk about that here in just a quick second as well. Uh, the Switch Pro, um, the rear area, as well as the inverter in the back, and then the VCDC and the 200 amp SBI right here as well. We have reposted um, the, the point um, uh, to the fuse box. So right behind the cover of the fuse box is a nice big blank area. So the, 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 um, the battery terminal posting is located right there. Um, we, on, the, uh, right on the ARB twin air compressor, um, we do have the solenoid and the manifold because this unit um, does, this particular vehicle does have a rear locker. And of course we got our nozzle right here with a pump up kit for using your onboard air. Okay, for the roof rack, we're using um, a Rhino rack um, with, the, uh, with the backbone system uh, mounted to. This is 84 by 49 inches. Uh, one thing that makes this uh, kind of a unique uh, rack is that the crossbars are vertical instead of horizontal. 
Um, we have this, the, the rigid one by two uh, amber scene lights mounted to, there's two on each side. They're connected with a Deutsch connector um, so that if you ever need to access or repair or replace anything, uh, it's just a plug and play operation. Um, and then of course mounted to this is the, um, the Baja um, Onyx 6 uh, dual color light bar um, with a custom bracket that we made to, um, so, that, so, that it, um, so that it mounts correctly to the, um, to the Rhino rack. And then, so underneath the car, we have the uh, the Slee, um, the Slee uh, Under Armour skid plates. One little finishing touch that we added to this one as well, since it does have four, uh, since it does have uh, five wheels, we did we do have the um, a wheel lock, a Toyota OEM black wheel lock set. Um, when you Toyota makes about six or seven different uh, wheel lock uh, uh, keys, so we just ordered um, about ten different wheel lock kits because we needed to have a fifth matching one for the spare tire carrier. So come back here with me real quick. And you'll notice that it also has the matching key right here. So we ordered about 10 different kits just to find two that had a matching key. And then we have an extra, we have, so we have all five have um, a matching uh, wheel lock just to kind of protect it from getting stolen if that were to ever happen. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And please don't forget to hit thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you liked the video.